Hello everybody, friends, family. We are gathered here today to honor a great man, my grandfather, born in 1925 in Munich, Germany, during one of the hardest times of the previous century. He was drafted into the German army during World War II. During his army years, actually more like only a couple of years, he evaded capture by the Russians, but was eventually captured in Poland and sent as a POW to the Russian lumberjack camps outside of Moscow. He was only a POW for a short while until they realized that he had a talent. He was a sculptor and an artist. He was later sent to the churches in Moscow and commissioned to rebuild most of the churches that were destroyed during the war. He was there for about four years and he did some amazing, amazing work and hopefully someday I will get to see it. He was sent back to Germany uh, actually four years after the war had already ended. Uh, later, he and my grandmother finally made it to the United States of America in the early 1950s and they moved to New York City. He managed to attain a job at the Natural History Museum or at that time it was the Hayden Planetarium as a sculptor and an artist and he did some amazing amazing works of art there. Unfortunately he was battling cancer at the time and of course in those days it didn't help that most people smoked multiple packs of cigarettes a day. So not only did he struggle with cancer in the later part of his life but he also struggled with Alzheimer's. Towards the end of his life though he had two daughters and they had, in fact had two daughters and one boy I am the oldest grandchild, but he will always be remembered as a very stern man and a very neat man. It was either his way or the highway kind of thing. But understanding his past really understands how he was when he was alive. If he didn't like something, it did not go. But we will always love him we will always remember him and I consider him my hero from what he survived my generation could never understand the struggles that they survived we can remember the good times and we can remember the bad but I choose to remember the good thank you